guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be organizing under the other side of my sink in the master bathroom so on this side of my sink I have a lot of like my makeup products and a lot of hair products that I probably haven't used in two or three years um I have this obsession with buying things trying things and then letting it expire because I don't have enough time to use the products and then I find more products to buy and then I don't have enough time to actually use the products um, before they expire. I'm pretty sure your products expire. But um, I kind of move on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and before you know it, I have all these products that I don't use. So I'm gonna be decluttering all of that. Um, I had a leftover jar from my other organization videos. If you haven't seen those videos, I will link them right above for you. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put in this jar yet. Hopefully I can find something to put in it. And then um, I also got this little like corner shelf thing to organize. It says it's bronze, but it kind of looks black to me. And honestly, in the cabinet in a corner, it's gonna look darker. So um, this also kind of goes with my modern farmhouse decor. Anyways, so let me show you where I'm gonna be organizing and what I'm gonna be organizing. Ta-da! It's a freaking mess in there. Up here, I have all of my makeup products, like the daily stuff that I use. And then down here, I have a whole bunch of hair product. So first, let's start with, um, in this makeup bag, I put a lot of my mascaras. I like to try and buy new things. So I have a whole bunch of mascaras in here. I actually have an eyelash video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will also link that right here for you um, of all the mascaras that I use and kind of like the technique that I use. And then in here, I keep all of my lipsticks that don't fit in my my jar from my other video that goes underneath my sink. Let's start with this. So this is actually a desk organizer. I got it at Target in the office area and I absolutely love it for all of my makeup products. Um, I have my brushes here, my makeup palettes, um, moisturizers, foundation, eye cream, primers in this area and then I have a lot of like my bronzers and my um, translucent powder in here as long or as well as my um, beauty blender. I'm gonna have to reorganize this so you guys can actually get the full look of it. Have everything cleared out now I don't know if I want to put this here or here this is where it takes me to forever to organize because I'm like what about here what about here what about here what about like I will literally try every freaking corner this looks a little bit awkward like it almost looks like this should all be up here because now there's less products down here um, but I use this more frequently, so when I have to bend down and get it, it's like not as further down. Let me swap this around and see if I like it any better. Okay, so I feel like this makes more sense. I don't know what you guys think. I like the way this looks better, but functional-wise, like when I reach down to get ready, I don't think I'm gonna like that. All right, guys, I just, tr <laughs> I just tried it, and I'm not gonna like having to bend all the way down. So... I'm gonna flip this back around and even though it's not gonna look as nice, it's gonna be more functional for me. Anyways, let me go through the products that I kept and why I kept them and why I like them and why I recommend them, okay? So let's first start with this Aquage Beyond Shine. So you apply this from the root to the tip of your hair and this helps with um, heat protection, shine, and it silkens unruly curly hair. Okay, so I love this stuff. This is a spray. It doesn't leave any residue on your hair, any white flakes or anything like that. So I have three of those. I don't know why, because I'm an impulsive buyer. That's why. I have the Aquage Dry Shampoo. I don't really love this, but I'm keeping it because it's full. So whenever I need dry shampoo and it's an emergency, then I'm going to use it. But the reason I don't like it is because it leaves white flakes in my hair. I've talked to other people that have used this and they say they don't have white flakes in their hair after they use it. So maybe I'm not rubbing it in right or hard enough, but that's why I'm keeping this one. Okay guys, and then for all my brunettes that pull 
orange red tones try blue shampoo and blue like creams for your hair so i absolutely love this brass off by matrix whenever the coolness starts to go away i use the matrix brass off shampoo and conditioner and then when i'm done i top it off with this so it's a cream that you put on after you shower absolutely love this stuff so if you're a brunette and you pull orange tones try blue shampoo and this cream for your hair okay okay so another hair lotion so this is by launch this moisturizes your hair and it locks in the shine so i feel like i have a lot of similar products that do similar things to my hair you want to apply with this with towel dried hair um let's see what else so this dry shampoo i don't love but i like the launch dry shampoo um i don't love it only because i found something that i love even more but it doesn't leave white flakes in my hair it has a good scent to it it's not too strong i absolutely love this dry shampoo so this i feel like it like penetrates to my roots and it makes my hair smell and feel like i showered and washed my hair. I should say washed my hair, not showered. I wash my body every day. I have this heat and humidity tamer by Launch. Um, this is a spray that I probably won't be buying again because I absolutely fell, fell in love with the Monet cream. It's a thermal styling protectant up to 450 degrees. So I absolutely love this and it, it I feel like it tames my hair a little bit better than the spray. This, this is another styling spray. I like this spray because it works but i don't like how it feels because it almost feels like hairspray is going onto my hands so i'll like spray it on my hands or spray it on my hair but then when i rub it it leaves my hands sticky so i don't like that i probably won't be buying this again but it does work okay um this is more dry shampoo and then there's this botanical smoothing balm it controls curly and frizzy hair so i apply this um when my hair is damp or after i'm done straightening it and then I have detangling conditioning spray that I apply after my shower. So, and then I have this nourishing gloss that also has vitamins A, C, and E. And then this root booster. I don't use this a whole lot, but it does work to like get more volume at your roots if you have a problem with that. And then I have more conditioning spray back there. Okay, let's talk about these con deep conditioning creams for your hair. So I leave these in my hair for about 15 minutes after I shampoo my hair in the shower. Um, so this is a deep conditioning mask. This is a hydrating mask. So if I had to pick one, I would go with the hydrating mask only because my hair is super dry. Um, but I like to like alternate them because my hair also needs deep conditioning. So if I had to choose, I would choose the hydrating one over the deep conditioning. I just feel like my hair comes out softer. However, they both work. So however you want to take that. Okay guys, so I buy this at Target. It is a detoxify eye or detoxify um, so it helps with dark circles It deep puffs underneath your eyes here. I love this stuff. So it's like a, um, like little patches, eye patches, and it comes with a little like spatula thing so that you can pick it up so that you don't rip it. And then you apply it, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. And it feels so hydrating and refreshing when you take it off. Um, you also don't have to like wipe it off. You can leave the residue there if you're like going to bed, but of course, if you're going to put makeup on take it off so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for watching if you found this beneficial at all any of my recommendations make sure to hit that like button subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time that i post bye